Have you ever had one of those nights? You know, the blackout drunk buying random components on Amazon.com kind of nights? On nights like those, I'm glad I have the browser extension, Honey. I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I, I'm not sponsored by anyone, and I probably never will be. Now like most of my nights, I did get completely wasted, but this particular night, I ended up buying eight solar panels for some reason. Generally, when I come up with an idea for something, I write it down in this book. See, here's the Minecraft controller originally, the VR boots, my nightmare, but this time, nothing. So I spent about 30 seconds to try to come up with an idea and make it into content, so let's see how it goes. Right out of the gate, I was very curious if the solar panels could act as sensors. So what I did was I hooked it up to an Arduino Mega's analog input, and I just made a quick program real quick to see what the levels are and if they would change. As we can see, the sensor values, it averages around 140, 139, and that's with a light flashing on it. If we covered it up with our hands, it goes significantly lower, so we can use this as a switch. Now I can already hear some of you guys asking, Raccoon Fex, how are you gonna activate solar panels? With the sun? No, he said he was busy. Originally, my thought was gonna be to place the light behind me. Then, once it was behind me, I would just put my hands in front of the panels, and then that would activate the light. But I decided to go with something much cooler. A laser helmet. All right, here is the controller. Why does everything I build look like a bomb? So these guys right here are gonna be the directional pads, up, down, left, right. Over here we're gonna have the A, B, um, like X, Y, or L, R, or start, select, whatever you want for those guys, depends on the game. All the panels are sending their signals via analog inputs on the Arduino Mega. The Mega then sends RF data via this NRF 24L01 to my computer to another NRF 24L01 attached to an Arduino Leonardo. The Arduino Leonardo reads the data and then sends keys accordingly. I really love adding these little antennas to stuff because technically that makes this a wireless controller. The battery pack that I'm using for this project actually needs a constant amount of energy to be drained or it shuts off completely. And unfortunately, the Arduino Mega and the NRF is not enough of an energy drain to keep it going. So what I did was I programmed this uh, blue LED light to stay on for six seconds and then turn off for six seconds. And what that does is it acts as a dummy load to drain the battery of enough energy to stay on, but not so much energy that it like dies constantly. So I installed this green LED light in order to show when the buttons are being pressed. The directional buttons can stay on all the time, but there is a timer on the other ones. So for the inquisitive minds on the helmet, it was really quite simple. It's just a battery pack attached to an Arduino Uno, attached to a laser diode. I did put a little piece of plastic from a water bottle up here, and that was just to increase the width of the laser. When the laser was just going normally, it was kind of hard to aim, and this just gives us a better like surface area in order to like activate the solar panels. All right, so we're in a game. I'm using night vision on the back camera over here, hello. Uh, just to sh kind of see if you can maybe see it better. I have it against the wall right now. Uh, and then I have, of course, the front-facing camera. Honestly, guys, stop calling my content fake so I can stop having to use all the crazy camera angles. But anyways, I, I put the night vision on just because uh, it works better at night. Uh, I was originally going to do like a day mode and a nighttime mode, but I got lazy. S sue me. Please don't sue me. Uh, but anyways, here we go. Let's try it out. <laughs> oh my god. It works. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> this works so well. All right, so the goal for this video is going to be to catch a Pokemon uh, using the laser pointer. Um, oh, great. Meta Metapod. Dope. Yes. Got it. Is it working? I can't tell. Okay. <laughs> we want to fight. Uh, we want to do Ember. I want to burn this guy. And that killed him. Well, it works. It's <laughs> working at least. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, Jesus. I'll take it. I'll take it. 
I still want to catch a Pokemon though. All right, here we go. Not gonna use burn this time. I learned my lesson, yes. My arms are getting tired. Can I put them down now for the sake of the video? Or do I have to keep proving it? Can I put it right here? Ah. That feels better. It's using Harden. Okay. I think I got, I think I gotta go through this two more times. So, the, uh, we'll probably do a modern game after this. Like I said, this isn't gonna be the last, uh, this isn't gonna be the last time we see the solar panels either. This was not the original plan. I legitimately don't remember what the original plan was. So, um, I still have to think of it. You know, I still have to try to come up with some more ideas on why on God's Green Earth I bought solar panels. Do I not have a pokey? Oh, there it is. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why on <laughs> God's Green Earth. No! <sighs> Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna, I'll attack one more time. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't remember on God's green earth why I uh, I bought these solar panels but uh, maybe I can attack one more time but uh, I want to come up with some new ideas and some new things this was just the first one right out of the gate I even talked about it in my discord a lot but uh, hopefully I'll come up with some better ideas in the future for it okay, it's gonna use scratch I'm not gonna kill him. We're gonna use our one, our one Pokeball. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then oh well, that's fine. I, I wanna move on to a different game. Wait, wait, oh frick. Back. Down. To the right. Up. Alright, oh, you guys might get mad. Okay. Yeah, use the Pokeball. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 oh God. Sorry, I have the other one set as the bumpers and this is a GBA. Also, oh God, I own all the rights and I own the game, this was my own copy. Everything was completely legal here, okay? And hey, we caught it. There we go. <laughs> oh God, stop it. I gotta change that so it's not that. That's too annoying. Awesome, awesome. Uh, no, no, no. All right, let's move on to the next game. <laughs> now, I like to think that I know my fan base pretty well, and I know you're all super excited about this like retro Game Boy Color Advance uh, controller that I built, but I know you're all gonna wanna see it in a modern game. So here we are in Call of Duty Cold War. The directional movement works just fine. I don't think anybody was doubting that the directional movement would work. Uh, however, I know you all wanna see if it can activate a macro. Now, I didn't know any good macros for Call of Duty Cold War, so all I had to do was uh, crouch down on the ground and shoot at the same time, uh, and then the other one will deactivate it. So. Here it is, and then here it is getting deactivated, and there you go. I, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions for the solar panels, please leave it down below. Like I said, I don't want this to be the end of my solar panel journey. I want to keep coming up with new ideas and new things to build using those solar panels because I spent $35 on them and I really, for the life of me, cannot remember why. Uh, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, blah, blah, blah. I love you guys. Have a good one.